Okay, I've had a lot of problem with this recording. I'll try again. Something gets kept messing up. I'm doing loan payment program in C sharp part two. Part two is the console application. We might do part three, which is the Windows application. Dr. Satish Singhal, PhD, Professor of Conf Computer Information Technology at Rose State College in Midwest City, Oklahoma. Okay, so this is our C sharp program. Let me show you what variables we need. Basically, we need these variables, rate, double type, loan, <coughs> loan decimal type, monthly payment decimal type, num payment in type, R and F double type. Reasons for these choices are described here in the previous PowerPoint. We'll review that right now. Okay, so we declare rate as double type, initializations are required. You don't want to jerk computer's chain by not initializing. That's a bad practice. Loan has to be decimal type and M is placed at the end when you are initializing. <laughs> <coughs> My student points will be deducted if money is not declared decimal type in Visual Basic and C Sharp. Monthly payment is also decimal type because that's money. Number point payment <laughs> will be zero. Num PM is int type, initialize zero. It can be any other type than int because it's a whole number. My students' points will be deducted if bulky data types are used where whole numbers such as int will suffice. There are not going to be any mercy about that. Sorry. And R and F are double type because as declared here, uh, rate is double type so R will be double type, POW returns a double type so F will be double type. Okay, so we got all these declaration and initial, both are required declaration and initialization. I don't want to see a situation where some initialization on right hand side is not done. <coughs> Then we ask user, enter the loan amount, and we give them the format, xx.yy. If you want loan for $20,000.50, bank cannot say, you cannot get that. They will have to give it to you. <coughs> and since loan is decimal type, I use decimal dot parse. If it is double type, we'll use double dot parse and console.readLine is the user input. Then we say enter annual interest rate for loan. For example, 7.2% annual interest rate should be entered at 7.2. <coughs> you can never go overboard in explaining what you want user in the command line environment. Explain the best you can. Okay? And since it's double type, we do double dot parse. Then we enter whole number of years the loan is taken for, whole number only. We are not doing the fractional year calculation here. We can if we want to, but we are not doing it here. So number payment will be 12 payments per year multiplied by in dot parse console dot read line. This input and output has to be clear to you by now how it's done. I've done previous video to show that. And then rate R will be rate divided by 1200. That's our previous expression right here. And then F will be math dot P O W one plus R num PMT. So F is that expression. First argument is one plus R. Second argument is num PMT. Video one describes that why we get that. And then finally we apply the month PMT formula, which is right here. So we're really making a copy of this formula. We're not doing anything else. Only change is, which should have been done here too, by the way, but we didn't do it because we didn't do, uh, declare the data type yet, that one important change here is loan is decimal type, but this expression is double type. And C sharp cannot multiply them together without casting this to decimal type. So this cast is required because data size here is different from the data size here. And C-sharp requires an explicit cast 
to make data type of this homogeneous with data type of the loan. So this casting is required for compiling C sharp, otherwise it will not compile. So that's another important point to remember that required to homogenize data type. types of loan and expression. <coughs> okay, the rest is easy. Then we print loan amount and loan is currency. So we want to print it that in the format 0 colon C comma loan. This is the, another version of console.write line that's very famous and very useful and very efficient and we can do the formatting in that. So we output the loan amount and the annual interest rate. Here we want to show the percent sign and if you're going to do that then rate was already in percent. If I put a percent sign and not divide by 100 it will show up 100 times more than it is. So to show the percent sign, I can do this formatting here, but then I have to divide by 100 to get the correct percentage. You'll see that in the output in a minute. <coughs> Number of payment is an integer. Integer is formatted like this. Zero is the first argument, and zero means integer. That's all. And once again, number of years the loan is taken for is done this manner. Uh, num PMT divided by 12, because num PMT was number of payments number of years multiplied by 12, so get the years back, which is divided by 12. And finally, the monthly payment, which is the currency type, and end of the program. So now we're going to run this program, uh, and for my student, a copy of this will be available. So we just run it. <coughs> so this may be a little smaller, maybe I can bump it up. So I'm going to take a loan for 20,000. No comma separator allowed. And since I say we can ask for cents, do that. Going to take 5.1% interest rate. And let's say it's a five-year loan, five-year. And these are our detail. Loan amount is $20,000, 50 cents. Annual interest rate 5.1 percent. Number of payments required 60. Loan is for five years, so our monthly payment will be 378.35. Okay. I'm going to pause the video. Find an online calculator which will give us the same result, uh, so that you can see that it does work out that way, and come back. Okay. This is our loan uh, calculator on the internet, Bankrate.com. I put a loan amount of 20,050 cents, loan term five years or 60 payments, interest rate 5.1, start date is unimportant, I just left it whatever it is, and if I do calculate monthly payment, I get exactly 378.35 that I got right here, okay? Let's change that a little bit and we'll change our numbers too. So let's change that to amount to let's say 30,000, uh, point nine nine. I'll change the interest rate to five point two. <coughs> Calculate. This time I get five sixty eight point nine one. I'll run my program with these numbers again. So run my program. Control F five. So. 30,000.99.99 interest rate 5.2 term is still 5 years and I get 561.91 per month monthly payment and 
same thing at 561, 568, sorry, 568.91 and same answer is given by loan calculator bankrate.com. So our program works as good as bankrate.com, okay? All right, so it is very important that everybody understands all parts of this program and familiarize the previous video where substitution method was used to simplify the formula. Okay. This is Dr. Satish Singhal, PhD, saying goodbye from this part two video. Part three will do a Windows application of the same one. Thank you.